Let's go. Three to one lift off. We are going. We're heading up into space. Hello guys, welcome back to the next episode of Astroneer. And this episode we are going to go to another planet. Yes! The FPS is killing me on this world. This world has got a bit corrupted as well. But I don't want to lose everything we've got. Woohoo! Look at that. So we are going to make a spaceship. And we are going to head out to another planet. So that is not... This is like the puddle jumper. This one here for going in between things on the same planet. This one will take you to another planet. Oh look. Okay. It's going to give us some other options. We can stick a seat. We can stick storage. If I stick storage on there, can I fit a seat on that as well? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out exactly what we need. And I will be back with you in a couple of minutes. We are going to take as much as we can with us. Which I don't think is going to be a huge amount to another planet. And when we're ready to go, I'll be back with you. Oh, exciting! Right, first of all, we are going to try the fuel condenser. Because I believe somebody has told me that this is a fantastic thing. And here we go. For making hydrazine. Which is the fuel that we need. And I believe that it will use power. So if we grab this power and stick it on there. Let's have a look. There you go, look. Let's have a look. Look. Oh, no. Do that. Can I grab an empty thing? No, stop it. Oh, that's actually going to fill it up now, is it? <gasps> there we go, look. It is. It's taking power. And turning it straight into fuel, which we can use to fill up our rocket. So we may even have enough to go and come back. Oh, if we do, that would be stunning. I'm going to put this down here, actually. I think I need to add these straight onto here to have them fill up. Uh, I don't think it's taking those. It's taking it from them. Oh, it is. Look, it's taking those as well. Good. Right. Let's fill up these and grab a load. Here we go. Our last one is filling up. Let's grab that. Excellent. So let's move that there. What I'm going to do is do a bit of swap around. We're going to put that one on there so we can reach it easily. Oh, I'm moving carefully. So we now want to fill this thing up with hydrazine. And we've got absolutely tons. So let's see how many it takes. So that's two. This, this was full up with eight. That's three. Four. Five. Five will fill it up. Excellent. Okay, right. Now I'm going to do a bit of experimenting to see exactly... Let's put that on there, please. Thank you. Exactly what I want to put on the top of here. Right, next we're going to add a storage container on here because you can put seats on the side of them. Look, I've just tested it and you can jump in. So that'll be good. So let's add that onto here. There we go. And let's grab that chair. Let's pop that onto there. Let's jump in. There we go. So look, we can we can jump in and we can fly it like that. So that means we can attach some more stuff to here. Excellent to take with us. I can also attach some hydrazine to these little gaps down here. So I need to have a little think about what I'm going to bring with me. It's a shame we can't take to another planet our truck. You can't add... Well, you could add the winch onto here. Um, but I think they're not expensive to make, are they? So I think we'll just bring with us some of our valuables <laughs> and then we'll be ready to go. Good grief. Right, this is it. The last hydrazine fuel that we need. Let's pop that on there. So that's eight of those. So I am so really hoping that we go to another planet and it solves our FPS issues. Just have a look around as well, by the way. I'll try and pan slowly. The landscape changed since the last update. We had a load of stuff grow all over the ground. We had this ruin, the uh, crash spaceship thing that landed right here. I know there's some research and things. Actually, can we quickly just do this research in case we get something interesting? Just before we go, let's make this the last one. Yep, and then we're going to fly to another planet. Take all of our good stuff with us. I've got loads of resin. I've got... I'll just do it from here. I don't want to walk too far. Let's see what we get. I've got loads of resin. I've got some compounds. Here we go. What's it going to be? A thing. We got given a thing. So the thing is probably going to be on here somewhere. We didn't get given a thing and it didn't say. Okay, I'm sort of wondering whether I have all the research now. That may be the thing. Okay, let's let's wander over here. Let's get, okay, make some more of that. 
So I've got enough fuel to get back easily. I've got a thing here, eight of them, another three round there, a full tank. I've got all my goodies. We're going to jump in. We are going to take off. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's stop spinning. We're going to take off into space. <laughs> I just want to get a screenshot of that. Oh, my goodness. It's not actually... Oh, there we go. There's the symbol. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Three to one lift off. We are going. We're heading up into space. Wow. So what's going to happen now? Is it just, just going to take us to another planet automatically? Okay, so it's pointing to this planet here. That is the planet we just came from, is it not? Um... Maybe, let's wait for this to go round a bit. I'm looking around. I don't see any other planets. Oh, there's another planet. So do I need to press this to hop to another planet? That looks like it goes up rather than down. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness, the FPS is so bad. <laughs> so what happens now? Terran, that's where we've come from. Yeah. Can we pick Baron? Okay, so we're literally heading out into the great unknowns. So this is where we come from. That one's Baron. Is that like the only one we can get to? Right, I'm going to move it round slowly. Oh, good grief. Please put up with the FPS. I am. We're going to try and see what we can do here. Okay, that looks like it's the only one that's available, is the barren planet. Let's go back around this way, and then maybe once you launch from that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the six planets. Pretty sure this is the only one we can get to. Ah, that's better. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, that's my other planet. Here we go. We're now coming to the barren planet. Wow. And then I think we, we would jump from that to another one. It's very small as well. Well, let's just pick one of these and land then. There we go. Yeah, there's another one right there. Look, so we can go to that one next. Well, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Let's land on the barren planet. And we're here. I believe we're here. Good grief. So am I going to be able to build off of this thing? Am I connect? I'm stuck! <laughs> I'm stuck. Ah, oh, there we go. I used my thing and got out. Yes, I'm attached to here, which is good. I'm worried about the weather and the conditions here. And sad to say, I'm still getting 20 FPS. No, there's nothing here. Look. Wow. The barren planet indeed. Good grief. I have to say, the views back to our old planet are fantastic over there. That is great. So, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe just seeing if we can get ourselves... Oh, it's put me out on the top this time. Get myself a buggy set up so we can go for a little wander around. And just see what there is to see. Glad I brought lots of resin and stuff with me. Let's pop that on there and stand out of the way. There we go. Let's pop. Oh, it's not showing me, is it? So, I've been talking to some of the other guys on the Discord chat that we've got. And it seems that maybe because my world was a pre-release world. Why is that not letting me put resin on there? Am I going to have to do another one? Maybe I am. Let's do this one here. It seems, I think, that the update, even though those of you guys that have started a, here we go, have started a brand new world uh, when the game was released, my world was from pre-release, and I think that perhaps that has caused uh, an issue. So, it's a shame, but there we go. Um, let's have a look. Research, smelter, vehicle bay. We need aluminium. Hopefully I've got some aluminium with me. Titanium. I bet I haven't. <laughs> We've got copper. We've got compound, uh, we've got lots of titanium and lithium, so I'm going to have to go on a bit of a hunt, so I'm probably going to dig down and see what I can find. I'll be back with you if I find anything interesting.
We're at the moment, I'm digging through the centre of the world. Oh, no power. Oh, we're okay. It's, we're still connected up. And it seems like there's nothing here. Oh, hang on. We've just found some underground resin. Okay, that's good. I'm wondering whether I should print myself a solar panel or something, because power is going to start becoming an issue uh, when we're trying to do this. But I've dug. Let's have a look. Can I see all the way back up? No, quite a way down. I'm wondering whether we could ever reach the centre of this of this world. But I'm not sure whether there's actually any caves in here or not. So I'm going to carry on see what I can see. Okay, let's get a printer going. Here we go. And then I really would like to make... Let's take some of these off of here. We could start getting these set up. Uh, will that click on there? Yeah, that one click over there as well. Let's see. Oh, it's filling up with power. Oh, that's going to take ages, isn't it? No power. Hmm. It's a shame it can't take the power directly from here. And I've got no other way of getting power at all. I'm wondering whether I could just jump to the next planet, you know. But I think this is probably the best chance we get of finding out if there's anything at the centre. Yeah, this is going to take a while to build up, isn't it? So, let's wait until we... go. Oh, let's not fall down the hole. Let's wait until we get some power. Very floaty here as well. And try and make a solar panel. I think that'll be helpful. Okay, it seems like there is caves inside. I could really do with getting down here, hopefully safely. I don't know if I die. I bet I'm going to end up back at the, the place where we came from originally. So I've got to be really careful. And power is becoming a huge issue. So, yes. Oh, ow, and I fell off. Well, there's lots of hydrazine down here. Um, so you wouldn't be stuck if you came here, but these caves are massive and I found this as well and I'm What the heck is that? And I think that is coal. Oh, that's coal, but what's this? It doesn't say it's research or anything What is it? Look at this thing That is weird. Okay, I'm worried about this thing can I click on it? It's just like a wire hanging down from the ceiling. What is it? I can't mine it. Look, the ball's rolling around. <laughs> I put it somewhere to keep it safe. And there's these weird things as well. Look, they disappear into the rock. What is this thing? Can I mine the ceiling out above it? <gasps> oh, it's... Is that gas that's going to chase us? It is. That's what it is. It's one of those bugs, but he's dropped something. Is the gas gone? It has. Oh, tethers. Has he got tethers? That is weird. That is definitely weird. Well, we've managed to pick up some coal, although I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, can I... Yeah, I can put another tether out here. There is some weird stuff under here. There, what is that? Oh! <gasps> Someone else has been here. No way. So what have we got here? Uh, let's move this so I can see. Oh, no, it's going a bit wonky. Um, let's put the compound on there. What's that? Titanium. Okay. Copper. We'll have that. Dynamite. Yeah, we've seen that before. Battery. I've actually already got a battery. Oh, my power's going down. My oxygen's going down. Let's have another tether. There we go. Don't think I want to take anything else off of there. I'm wondering whether to leave the coal, I'll be honest, and take these tethers. So, I'll take the compound for the tethers. Um, oh, I had some aluminium on me. Look, I didn't realise that. Yeah, I'll be seeing that in the comments. Okay. Look, there's more of these hanging things. Look. And more of these balls. There he goes. Oh, let's run away from the gas. I think that should be fine. Yep, has he dropped something? I'm not sure he did. It's almost like they're hiding. Look, I want to get this ball thing here. Look. I don't know what these are for. That is weird. That is very weird. Let's go and see whether this guy's got... He can't do anything to it. That is very strange. I'm assuming it's not going to snap to anything either. Nope. I've just realised they're different colours. I bet if I mine this guy, he's going to have power. Possibly. He's disappeared. Oh. 
There's the green, the green gas. I think that's what it is, as they all hold different things inside. Man, this cave system is like going on forever. Okay, we're leaving the cave. Now it's time for the climb back up again. Let me just show you how far this is. And it's been an interesting journey to find some different things down there. I mean, there's a lot of coal. There's a few of those black and white balls. Come on, we can make it. We didn't have to go too far. Come on, up we jump. But I want to see now. I feel like I'm falling. I want to see now whether we can get to the next planet on the list. That would be fantastic. But at least we know there's coal here if we ever need it. Right, let's lift off. Let's see if we can get to another planet. Hopefully we can. Let's see what happens. Whether it's just going to automatically jump us over to another one. So we're getting into orbit around this planet. Oh man, the FPS, it struggles with this, doesn't it? There we go. So that's the planet we were just around. Let's jump out again. <gasps> oh, I think that's where we were. We've now gone to here. Is it going to let us go to here? Because that looks like it's got a vehicle on with our bases. No, I'm pretty sure that should be around here. <laughs> because that is where we came from. Okay, as I've waited, look, these have come into focus. That one is irradiated. This one was arid. So, of course, the planets are all moving and they're coming into line. Oh, my goodness. So, we could go to an irradiated planet. That sounds pretty hostile. We've got an arid planet, which is going to sound pretty dusty. Let's see what else comes into focus while we're waiting. Okay, here comes the next one. It's coming into focus. Let's see what that's going to be. I'm wondering actually whether we're going to be able to reach that one. Oh my goodness. No, I don't think we are. It may be that we have to go to the irradiated or the arid planet. So, let's see if this one swings round. Right, we're going to pick the arid planet. Oh, hang on, this one's coming into focus. Look, let's see what this one is. Exotic. Oh yeah, let's go there. Where should we land? Let's pick a spot. Any spot. I'd rather go here than an arid planet or an irradiated planet. And this is definitely different from the first planet that we landed on. Coming in. Ooh. Oh, look, there's like green gas things on the surface. Well, at least I'm safe in here. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is going to be an interesting test to see whether we can survive on here. Look at my face. I'm like covered in gas. I'm still alive, aren't I? Yeah, I'm still alive. Oh, dear. Well, these guys don't seem to be giving up. I'd actually only seen these two originally. There's one under here as well. So I'm not sure whether, because I can't use my tool when I'm in here, I'm not sure even if I'm going to be able to jump out and, and run. But this planet looks fantastic. Um, I, I really don't know what to do. I mean, I can take off my storage... Oh no, I don't want to do that. Let's clip that back on. I can take off that. Can I put that on top of him? Will that stop him? I don't want to lose all my hydrazine. That's probably a bad idea. It's, it'll probably just roll down the hill. But there's also one underneath me. Look! This guy down here. Good grief. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave that episode there because I do have this FPS bug that's going around. Um, hopefully it will get fixed before the next episode. If not, I'm going to have to play a game all the way through and try and get almost at the same point we're at now so we can carry on which will be fun i'm enjoying the game anyway i'll probably live stream it if i did that but guys uh, please appreciate the hard work i put into bringing this one to you despite the problems with the game at the moment um hit the big red b with the tea stain so you subscribe to my channel and don't miss out on the next episodes i'm really i'm still really enjoying this game i can't wait for the uh, devs to get up to date with fixing things so we can carry on having great fun so i will see you guys very soon probably tomorrow for the next episode take care bye bye